Let's look at another three-part interval. X is between negative 1 and 4, including 4. 4 is included in the interval, but not negative 1. So I draw the number line with an appropriate scale and with infinity on the right and negative infinity on the left. Now I put a parenthesis through negative 1 because that has a strict inequality beside it and a bracket through positive 4 because that has uh, a non-strict inequality beside it. And notice how the parenthesis and the bracket actually enclose the numbers that x can equal. And then the interval notation looks just like the graph with a parenthesis on the left, a negative 1, a comma, a 4, and a bracket on the right.